leadership has to come to the party to face the issues very directly and be courageous in the decisions they take. Right now, the issue is right at the top. At the next NEC meeting, they have to deal with the fact that they have a public protector's report which says some very significant and damaging things about the leadership of the organization in terms of the president and other members of that cohort. So they can't just sit and have a prayer and wish you know, the problem, the issue does not arise in the meeting. They have to face it, unfortunately, because it is in their watch. When they were elected at the conference, people said, we give you, the, you know, our, our trust. Go and run the organization and protect and defend our, 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 our democracy. So judgment is now coming through to suggest that the outcome of that exercise has been less than what most of us expected. So that's really where we are now. Trained to do what is right. We all know what is right. But strangely, the leadership doesn't take the positions that they know are right. And when we meet them individually and severally, they agree. I mean, they agree that we shouldn't have handled the Nganda matter the way we, uh, we handled it. And people have come up to support the wrong positions, knowing they are wrong. They went on to, to, to act in a manner that does not respect the Constitution. Up to Parliament, we have got very bright lawyers in that Parliament who sit there, and they knew exactly what that is. When you have a leadership that has reached a stage where they can't take the right decisions and they know them, then you know there's a crisis in the leadership. And I think that's what we are facing at the present moment. Um, and I don't want to express my opinions because we're speaking on behalf of the, uh, the standards who are sitting here. But that's really the crisis. So if, if you have that crisis, and you've got a veteran's league that's not functional, and some would say dysfunctional, I would say it was born but never became active. I have, there are, been, there are some of us here who are members of the veteran's league. Um, some are not. Some have tried to be members of the veteran's league. I know that. The process is just um, unbearable. You can't have um, an elderly person.